Welcome to the Bentley Systems training course where you will learn how to optimize steel structures in STAD Pro Connect Edition. In this video, we're going to be focusing on specifying the appropriate optimization commands to complete your workflow. In the workflow for our sample model for this training class, we are ready to move on to assigning steel design commands in STAD Pro. For this course, we're going to be using three separate steel design commands. The first command is a check code command. This will instruct STAD Pro to determine if the assigned member properties are adequate to carry the applied forces. We're also going to be using a select command. This will instruct STAD Pro to indicate the minimum weight cross section that is sufficient to safely carry the applied forces. And lastly, we have a group command. This will instruct STAD Pro to assign a common section to a group of members during optimization. We are now ready to add our select and group commands, or basically our optimization commands, to our input file. To do that, we're going to find our steel design dialog and click on the commands button. We're going to start with the select command, which does need to appear before the group command. This requires no additional parameters, so we'll just go ahead and click the add button to add it to the input file. Next, we'll go ahead and select the group command. Now from the specified list of parameters, it's going to be able to find the section size with the largest value of the specified property type and assign it to all the members that are assigned to a particular group. And we'll go ahead and select area as our property specification. Now the group command is an optional command and you can choose which members you want to group together in your model. For this particular model, I'm going to group all my columns together and my girders at each level. So basically I'm going to have three separate groups. So I'm going to go ahead and click the Add button three times. So one, two, three. Once we're done, we'll go ahead and click the Close button and take a look at our command structure. Now the first thing we're going to take a look at is our select parameter. Now as a reminder, in a member selection, STAD Pro will find the lightest acceptable section while incorporating any specified constraints. And we have a few optimization constraints we've applied up here. So now we need to go ahead and apply this to the members we want included in the optimization. And I'm going to go ahead and select all of my wide flange, angle, and HSS rectangular sections. So I'll go ahead and come up to the ribbon, select the property name tool, and select all members by a particular property. And we'll go ahead and select the wide flanges, tubes, and angles. And we'll go ahead and say assign to the selected members. The next thing we're going to do is take a look at the group command. Now the group command is optional. You can choose to either group members together or not. Now if you don't group any members together, what it's basically going to mean is that each individual analytical member in your model will have an optimization performed on it and a unique size will be assigned to each individual analytical member. Now for my beam members in the model, I'm going to go ahead and choose that as an appropriate workflow. Go ahead and optimize them however they need to be. For other particular members, say such, for example, say I have a girder member that's going to be running from column to column. I'm going to want the same section size assigned to each individual segment of this particular member. So I'm going to want to consider using a grouping command there. The same thing runs true for my columns. I'm going to want the same column size assigned to the entire length of the column. You may also want to group certain members together to make construction a little bit easier. Um, so if you want, say, all your beams the same size, you can also use it in that scenario. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight my first group command, and I'm going to go ahead and assign this to the columns in my model. Again, I've already set up some groups, so I'm going to go ahead and use that group selection option, and I'll go ahead and assign this to my columns. Let's go ahead and grab the next group. I'm going to go ahead and assign this to my roof girders. And lastly, I'm going to group my floor girders together as well. Through 
Through the select and group commands, we've instructed STAD Pro to determine what the optimum size for each member or group of members should be. It does not instruct the program to reanalyze the model considering the new optimized section sizes. To maintain compatibility of the analysis results with the final member sizes, you must enter a subsequent perform analysis command. Otherwise, the post -processor, processor will display the prior results with the revised member sizes. So to do that, we're gonna go up in the ribbon toolbar, select the analysis and design tab, and find our analysis commands icon. Here, we're gonna to want to go ahead and select the same type of analysis we've been doing throughout the project to make sure we have consistency. So for this project, we've been performing a P-delta analysis, which also considers the effect of P-small delta. We'll go ahead and click the Add button, followed by Close, and we can go ahead and take a look at what that starts to look like. Here we have our initial analysis. We have our optimization through our select and group parameters. And then we have another analysis, which is going to recalculate the self-weight of the structures and get new member forces through the distribution of forces. We are now getting close to finishing up our proper command structure for an optimization. And what we want to do is we want to return to the design page and add our final code check command. So let's go ahead in our workflow page control area, select the design tab, and then the steel icon to get your steel design dialog back on your screen. Now before we invoke the check code command, we might want to consider adding one additional parameter. We may want to add another ratio parameter to increase the allowable interaction ratio back up to 1.0. Now anytime you set a parameter, a design parameter in STAD Pro, it'll consider that parameter until you tell it otherwise. So it'll still be considering a ratio of 0.9 unless we tell it to increase it back up to 1.0. So to do that, we're going to go to our steel design dialog, click on our define parameters button, and we're going to find our ratio parameter and we're going to set it back up to 1.0. So let's go ahead and click the add button followed by close and we'll scroll down and find that ratio parameter down here finally in a parameter 5 folder. We're going to highlight this parameter and then assign it to the same members we've been performing our design on. So I'll go to the geometry tab in the ribbon toolbar and we're going to go ahead and assign it by property. And now for our final step to add our code check command. So let's go ahead and select the commands button. We're going to go ahead and select check code and we'll go ahead and just click the add button to add it at the end. And again, we're going to want to go ahead and assign it to the members in our model. Now before we go ahead and perform the analysis, let's again just take another quick look at our command structure for optimization. We're going to go ahead and start by performing an initial analysis. This will use the, you're going to use one of the perform analysis commands to instruct STAD Pro to calculate loads and member forces. This command will use the initial section sizes during the calculation. Next, you're going to add your optimization command, basically using the select command to instruct STAD Pro to optimize each member based on the member forces that were distributed through the initial analysis. After that, if applicable, you're going to group your members during the optimization. You're going to use your group command to instruct STAD Pro to group specified members together for analysis based on their largest property specification. After that, you're going to re-perform your analysis. You're going to use one of your perform analysis commands again to instruct STAD Pro to calculate the loads and the member forces. This command will use the optimized section sizes in the calculations. 
And then finally, we're going to find our last command, which is our code check command. You're going to use this to instruct STAD Pro to check whether the optimized section properties are adequate when using the results of the latest analysis that was performed. We are now ready to perform the analysis and review our results. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.